Okay, in this video I'm going to introduce you to a bit of the history behind complex numbers. Um, so complex numbers are something that came out of um, actually trying to solve cubic equations, uh, which is a little bit of a surprise really, because you would expect it from quadratic equations. But it all stems back uh, to a guy called Cardano um, uh, from the 16th century, who posed a problem uh, like this. He wanted to split 10 into two numbers so that the product uh, is 40. Now this problem didn't directly bring about complex numbers, but it was the first inkling that the thought was there, that there might be something else. So, we want to split 10 into two numbers so that the product is 40. Now if you try and do that like 2 and 8, or uh, 3 and 7, you know that when you multiply 3 and 7 together you're going to get 21, or 5 and 5 is going to get 25. You're never going to reach 40. So, you know, Cardano know, knew that there was no real solution to this. But, I want to show you a method um, that will work. So, let's say instead we want to split 10 into two numbers so that the product is 16. Okay, let's go for 16 instead, just to start us off. So, I can already say, right, that's going to be 2 and 8. Okay, so 2 and 8, make 10, product is 16. Now, if you take the number 10 and you split it into two parts, okay, so you split it into two, so you get 5 and 5, okay, and then you square 5, so 5 squared is 25, and then you take away the number that you're trying to reach the product, so 25 take away 16, okay, it's 9. So then the two numbers that you're looking for are 5 plus the square root of 9 and 5 take away the square root of 9. So that's 5 plus 3 is 8 and 5 minus 3 is 2. So they're the two numbers that I was looking for. Okay, so you can see that this method of dividing 10 into two parts, squaring your answer, and then taking away the product that you want, um, square rooting, that's what you're going to need to find. Okay, so that, what we're actually doing is um, b squared minus 4ac, we're going to doing part of the quadratic formula here, but that's kind of like what's working in the background. So, let's say we go back to our original, original problem, 40. So, if it's 40, then we still remain with splitting 10 into two parts, 5 and 5. We square the 5, we get 25. And then we do 25 take away 40. Well, that gets me minus 15. So, that would mean that my two numbers are 5 plus root minus 15 and 5 minus root minus 15. Okay, so they would be the two numbers that I'm looking for. Now if you add them together, okay, then surely the root minus 15 and the minus root minus 15, they would cancel each other out, so you'd get 10 if you added them together. And if you multiply them together, you get 5 times 5 is 25, 5 times minus root 15, uh, 5 times minus root 15, uh, plus, sorry, so positive, plus minus root 15, and then you get minus root 15 times minus root minus root 15, uh, oh, sorry, uh, root minus 15 times minus root minus 15, okay, which would multiply together to make minus minus 15, so plus 15, which makes the 40, okay? That is supposing that you can multiply these two things together, even if they existed. So these would be the two numbers. So that was what we're presupposing here, okay? So if there was a solution, this would be the solution, as Cardano would put it. 
but obviously, you know, we're not in the realm of uh, square rooting negative numbers. That is the problem. So from this comes the idea of complex numbers. And in the next video, I'm going to introduce how we form complex numbers and what they really mean.